G'day everyone. Uh, my wheel bearings are due for a, a repack, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd walk you through the process of doing that. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, loosen the wheel, wheel or lug nuts on this on this wheel. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then uh, go ahead and jack the jack the caravan up. So we just checked it up so we've got the wheel spinning um, and now we'll go ahead and take uh, the wheel nuts off properly. So now I now use the cordless impact uh, drill for this. It's nice and good. So now we've got the wheel off, um, we, we need to take this dust cap off and uh, I usually just give it a light tap and it will pop off like that. Um, we now take this uh, so clip off. So pull that out. So, and you can see how loose this nut is. Um, it doesn't need to be done, done up very tight. So, we'll take this nut off. Just keeps gripping a little bit, but. So, the castle, take, once we take the castle nut off, uh, this whole this whole brake and everything will come off in one shot. And just be careful not to uh, get the get the um, bearing into dirt. But basically, that's it. Taking the uh, brake off. So now I'll show you how to uh, repack your bearings. So now we're in uh, the workshop, and uh, you can see. I don't know whether I, you could see it in the last little clip, um, but you end up with a washer and a front bearing out of the front. Um, and then the rear one is actually stuck behind a, is actually stuck behind this, this uh, dust cover here. So uh, we'll first of all remove, we'll take out the rear bearing with the dust cover. So the way I get it out is I, uh, is I just lightly tap it with a socket extension like and it pops out the bottom like that so the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, give these bearings a well I've got a clean cloth and I'm just going to get rid as much of the excess uh, old grease as we can um, some people uh, dip these like put them in degreaser or whatever um, I just pack them till the new to the grease comes through clean through the other side so I'll show, I'll, I'll show you how to do that so um, another thing I recommend doing before you put everything back together is just note down um, your bearing number so here uh, mine is at L, L68194 um, and also your seal uh, will have uh, a number on it which you can uh, used to go and get a replacement and it's very worthwhile noting that down taking a photo 
um, keeping it uh, and getting spare uh, set of bearings. Um, we should also inspect the uh, races and make sure that there's no scoring, pitting, uh, discoloration. Um, you can see these, oh, maybe you can't see, but you can see these ones are um, in pretty good condition. So I'll just, I won't need to worry about those. I'll just uh, put the new bearing in there. You can see there's no discoloration or anything. Um, so you check the, both the front and the back bearing and clean out the excess. And now we're going to move on to the messy job. So what I like to do is just grab some grease and put it into the on, into the palm of my hand. And then you just uh, push it like that until, until the new grease comes out. You can see the red new grease uh, coming out of the bearing. And then you just got to work your way around the whole bearing, making sure that grease is coming out. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but yeah, you just got to make sure that it, all the rollers have uh, fresh new grease. And we'll do that for both of the both of the bearings. So I've just put the bearing in and now I'm about to put the seal back in. Um, I'll just get a bit of wood as clean as you can, probably not not one like this if you can ideally. Um, and I'll just tap it in like that. Um, and make sure it's flush on here, which it is. Um, I'll just get rid of some of, if there's anything on here, you don't want any grease on the inside of this because this this is where how your brakes work, so um, if you do get grease on that, uh, get some brake cleaner and uh, clean it up. Uh, and then, so now that the seal's back in, um, we can flip it over um, and we can put in our uh, our bearing from the front too, so it's got a bit of grease on it. And you want to put a little bit of grease in there um, and then uh, sit that there ready to go and now we'll go and put it back on the uh so we're back at the van and um we're just going to clean off the shaft here um and have a look for any pitting or scoring along along here um, before we put it on so we put the we put it back on uh you can leave the bearing in or take the front bearing out um, but it basically just slides on back like that um, and you put on your uh, washer um, do up your castle nut so now this one on this one's a bit tricky, it doesn't want to, it's not finger tight. So this is still uh, pretty easy to do. Um, and what you want to be doing is um, putting it on, so you go tight and then you just back it off a little bit. Um, so you should be able to easily spin the wheel and have no movement back and forward. So, um, So you can see, I can quite easily spin the wheel. I don't have any back and forward movement like that. So, so that we now need to put this split pin back through. Um, and we split that round. So. Usually do it with a pair of pliers actually, not, a, not my fingers. that and then 
we simply uh, tap the tap the dust cover back on, and that's it. Put the wheel back on, wheel studs back on, and we're uh, done. So I put the uh, nuts on with a couple of a couple of threads. And, uh, and then I'll let it down and uh, torque up the nuts and we should be done. If you've made it to the end of the video then there's probably one or two options. Either you've fallen asleep or um, you may have found this video useful. If you have, um, please give it a thumbs up uh, and feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would be great. Thanks.